so hey guys it's z here back with another tutorial i hope you all are doing great so guys today i'm gonna teach you how i make these compositions in CapCut along with my cc so yeah without further wasting any time let's begin okay so guys open your CapCut and then uh, add the background so what i have done here just don't get confused i have like compound clip the background and then just give it the x and y movement and also the zoom in and zoom out i usually do this to like save time so just don't worry about it just put your background and then put the animation above it now remove its background go to remove bg then select chroma key and select the background color and then adjust its intensity then after removing that go to hsl now reduce the color saturation whatever it was in the background for me it was green so i just turned the saturation back to minus 50. now next what i do is just copy paste the animation now select the lower one go to its curve then move all the color graphs down just like me this will make the animation black now we're gonna add an effect called blur on the lower one the one which we just made black and then you can adjust its intensity according to your need i usually keep it at 100 sometimes 80 and you can also like duplicate it to give it more shadow so guys this is how your clip should look after giving it the shadow now next what i usually do is like add some light leaks and stuff but before that, for the CC, what you guys are gonna do is add a white screen. Now make its size as big as the screen. Now go to mask and mask it exactly like me. Click on circle and then adjust it like this. Then give it some feather. Now go to basic and change its blend mode to overlay. And now guys, you can make it of any color you want. I wanted it to be a bit purple. So I just did that from the curves. Now after this, add a black screen. Make it as big as the screen and do the same masking. And feather it a bit now you can adjust it on your screen according to your clip i wanted it like a bit dark from the lower side so i just kept it there that looks good you can adjust it according to your clip like wherever you want to put it after this if you guys want to add glow to the animation what you can do is go to effects and search an effect called glow 2 now you can add it on the animation just like this and as you can see it has added some glow to the animation now, if you want it a bit glowy, you can just do this. Otherwise, just keep it simple. It depends upon you. I sometimes put this effect and sometimes I don't. Now, next, what we're going to do is add some overlays like fire particles and also the light leaks. So if you guys want these light leaks and overlays, I upload them on my Discord server. So make sure to join it. I'll provide the link in the description and also join my brother's server too. I usually like come on VC sometimes there. So make sure to join it. Okay, so let's move back to the tutorial. So whatever overlay or light leak you add here, make sure to change its blend mode to screen. And yeah, guys, I'm gonna tell you something like always keep this thing in your mind. You don't have to use same light leaks in every clip. It all depends upon your clips. Like you got different background, you got different animation. So you need to use different light leaks and stuff. So as you can see, I am trying to add some overlays, some particles and some other light leaks because like I don't know which one will fit here. So I just keep testing him to make sure like which one is looking good whatever i see like fits here i just keep it here so guys as you can see after testing out the light leaks and stuff for like four to five minutes i came up with this yeah it takes time but it looks good in the end now the last thing that i do here is add an adjustment layer then make it saturation between like 10 to 15 and contrast between 10 to 5 sharpen to 15 and sometimes i add this clarity I just keep it at like 100 sometimes sometimes i just don't add it let me show you the difference like you can just see this is what this thing does so yeah that's basically it that's how i make these compositions and this cc in CapCut. see you guys in another tutorial till then bye bye